Hi, my name's Jovan and today you'll be learning how to add camera shake into Blender. I have a video from last week in one of these corners on how to do it on a real engine and I'll have one next week on how to do it in Maya. Now, there are two main types of camera shake. There's your sort of breathing, realistic cameraman shake and then there's also your impact, like bullet whizzing past, camera moving around as an impact shake. And I'll be showing you how to do both of those in this video. The method is pretty much the same. So what you need to do is set up your scene in Blender, make sure you've got your camera in there as well. If you already have a camera movement on your camera, that's great. If you don't, just set a keyframe for the location and rotation on the first and final frames of your camera. You can do this by just clicking the I key on your keyboard and then selecting location and rotation. Then go down to the bottom timeline and in the bottom left corner where the little timeline logo is, click on that and select graph editor. Then rescale this to about half the size of your screen so you can see both your actual viewport and the graph editor. Now, in the graph editor, go to the right hand side and you'll see a little arrow pointing out. Click on that and it will expand a tab. Then select the modifiers tab. Now, go back over to the left hand side of your screen in the graph editor and select one of your axes. So it can be your X rotation, Y rotation, any locations. It doesn't matter for now, you can go through and change each of these later on. Now, go back to the tab on your right hand side and press add modifier and choose noise. This will add a randomly generated noise to your curve. If you press play now, there'll be a really jittery amount of movement onto your camera and you can see this represented by the squiggly line on your screen. If you can't see it, just zoom in so you can actually see the frequency of your curve. Now, on the right hand side of your graph editor, select the option that says restrict frame range and click to open it. Depending on what type of camera shake you want, you can adjust the in and out points here. So if you just want like a breathing type of realistic camera man there, then you make the start and end frame the same as your sequence frame length. So from zero to like 250 for example. But if you want it for like a jittery camera shake, like a bullet impact or an explosion, what you need to do is set the keyframe to just before or just after where your actual impact happens. Now, if you're doing this kind of impactful short jitter, you won't have to touch the scale or the strength. You can adjust it if you wanna make it more impactful by increasing the strength, but it's not really necessary. It looks pretty good now as is, but you can obviously fine tune that as you want. However, if you wanna do your camera shake for a breathing cameraman, what you need to do is change the scale to a very large number. As you make the number larger, you'll see the noise curve start to smooth out. You can then change the options like the strength, which can increase how dramatic you want the peaks of the curve to be, and phase, which works like a seed option, giving you a number of different noise wave options. And then depth, which can give you some extra detail in your noise curves. You can also, you can also change the amount of influence that your noise has by clicking use influence and adjusting this with a slider. So that'll change the amount of impact that this noisy camera shake has on your original curves. You can then go through and add noise to as many or as few of the axes as you want. And that's it, you're done. You've just added camera shake to your camera in Blender. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you like what you saw and wanna see more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.